All right, today I wanna to show you how you can use RSS feeds and email and get that into your feed reader. There's lots of stuff you can do with this. I'm not gonna go into all the things you could possibly do with RSS feeds. Um, and it's kind of funny too. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, aren't RSS feeds just like this really old kind of thing that's not used anymore? A lot of times we don't see them, but a lot of us still use them and they're really handy. So if you're searching for this video and you found this, you probably know what an RSS feed is. So I'm not gonna cover that. Uh, but I am going to go into one way to set this up uh, that I think is really interesting and has some practical benefits as well. So if, first of all, if you haven't seen me before, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy. Uh, if you're into stuff like time management, uh, note taking, uh, personal knowledge management, automation, all that sort of good stuff, you're in the right place. Uh, you can check out more at productivity.academy. Got the podcast there as well, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, whatever floats your boat. So let's get into it. The first thing uh, that I actually hadn't come across until a couple of weeks ago was this website, killthenewsletter.com, which I found hilarious and I really like, even though I have a newsletter myself. But what I want and when I read other people's newsletters is getting that information where I want it. And I don't necessarily want it in my inbox. Uh, I, right, I'm the type of person, I don't treat my inbox as a place where I wanna be spending my time. Um, I use other tools for that. Right now I'm using, uh, the, it's in beta, but Readwise is making a read app, a read it later app, uh, and I'm using that, and that's completely replacing tools like uh, Instapaper and some other stuff. But all that said, let's uh, let's take a look at this. So I'm at kill the newsletter. I want to convert an email newsletter into feeds, and I just gave it a name because I'm going to use the Productivity Academy, and we're going to create the inbox. All right. So there we go. We've got to sign up for the newsletter with this email, and then you can subscribe to the feed here. Okay, so what you would do is basically copy that. We would go over to where we want uh, to have that. So like we would go over to the Productivity Academy, and we could go, for example, here. Um, we could sign up. Sign up for uh, like the daily review template if that's what we wanted, wherever it was. Again, I'm just using mine. Um, put in your name and email and click on that for whatever we're opting in for. Now, uh, the other part we need to do, right? We signed up for the newsletter, but now we need to subscribe to this feed because this, we don't have access to like a, an inbox. What we want to do is actually use the feed. So we're going to copy that. And I'm just using Feedly as an example of to show how we can do this. But again, there's many tools uh, that do this and use it for whatever you need. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is now add this uh, just to one of the things I have set up in Feedly. Okay, so let's follow a new source. We're going to now paste that in there and hit enter. Alrighty, there we go. Click on follow. And then this is just Feedly stuff. So let's, uh, we'll just put it under personal. And then there we go. Now it's showing up in there. So we've got it created. Okay. So again, this is just to show the general outline of how we can do something interesting. And, and the cool part about this with Feedly is if we went in here and I thought this is kind of funny, I didn't actually know this was, oh, if I want to follow a newsletter, well, I guess I need, uh, you know, to uh, follow newsletters, I need to upgrade. Um, so I'm not against paying for a good service. If the service does it for you, any sort of service, uh, and it's worth it, then use it. Like I pay for Readwise. I love it. It is hugely uh, important in my workflow. Uh, but for this, for like one thing, I don't need that. And so using the RSS feed is kind of an interesting way to get this stuff set up. All right. So just wanted to share that with you. There's some really interesting ways to get this again. Like this is a where like I don't want uh, email newsletters in my inbox. I want them in my read it later app so I can go through and quickly get a summary. A lot of times I just want to see if that particular email is of interest to me and I don't need that to be in my inbox. It's not of utmost importance. So hopefully this can help you out too. Uh, if you have any questions, comments or kind of fun use cases about this, by all means, uh, please leave a comment below.